Hi guys, Jesse Keim here with a Final Cut tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to import footage from a tapeless system. That's a, a camera that uses an SD card or a hard drive. So first things first, uh, we're going to need some help with an outside program to bring in this footage. The footage was shot on an SD card using a Sony NX5U camera and uh, the Sony actually shoots in MPEG so we're going to have to transfer the files from MPEG format to .move or something similar. So uh, in order to do this we're going to um, have to go online and download a transfer or file transfer program and uh, one of the best ones that I've found that works very well is MPEG Stream Clip. So if you Google MPEG Stream Clip or if you go on squared5.com you can go and download this program for free. It's pretty cool. Uh, basically all you need to do then after you downloaded and installed the program is go up to list, batch list, or command B. Click on add files and we will go and click on the actual device that has the SD card or hard drive in it. Then you're going to have to locate where the files are. For a uh, Sony NX5U it usually creates three folders like this and when you shoot in standard definition it will be in the MP root folder. So I will go down and select the file that we want. Here's some B-roll uh, of the outside of a um, ice cream shop and I, I'm going to bring it in convert it to uh, QuickTime so I will choose the Capture Scratch folder that I've been using and uh, that's where MPEG Stream Clip will place the uh, dot .move now um, when you when you get this far, MPEG Stream Clip wants to know what kind of compression you want to use. I'm going to bring it up to 100%, and I will click on uh, DV NTSC uh, 720 by 480. That's the format I'm working with. If you want HD, you could pick that. Uh, I'm also going to pick Apple uh, DV slash DVC Pro, and that's what I'm working with. If you guys have uh, projects that call for different formats you just pick what you need but we'll just use that as default and all you have to do is click go and MPEG stream clip will transfer the MPEG turn it into a dot move and then we will be able to work with that in Final Cut Pro and we'll be back in a few seconds once this transfers okay well our our file transferred and uh, now we'll close out of MPEG Stream Clip. We'll go back into Final Cut Pro and we will bring in the file. You go to File, Import, or uh, Command I is the shortcut. Um, it pops up right here already in my Capture Scratch and this was the, uh, the file that we had on the camera bring it in, it'll appear in your browser, double click, you can check it out in the viewer and that's that, it's that easy and um, if you have a bunch of clips on the camera you can select uh, whichever ones you like, you could select them all bring them in through batch list in MPEG stream clip and uh, just make sure you're saving them all to the correct folder with your final cut files and stuff and that's about that uh, up next we will go into how to import HD footage from a tapeless system using login transfer.